All right. After 12 plus hours of doing this, this is my last video. Once again, this has taken you know, weeks for you guys to go through. but So, here we go. The extension lesson for free body diagrams. Really, all this comes down to is finding the angle. And this is something we've already done. So, for example, if we had this, we've already said that we would do, let's see, uh, it doesn't really matter. We'll go starting here. We'll go over 200. And we'll go up 80. And so our net force is going to be this right here, this dotted line. All right. So it's Pythagorean theorem. No big deal. That's 200. That's 80. Use the Pythagorean theorem to come up with that real quickly. In fact, I think it's the same as the other one we did a second ago. 200 squared plus 80 squared equals, take the square root. Uh, yeah, 215.4. No big deal. Now, I want this angle, the one between the, the vector, the, 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 the end result, the net force, and the horizontal. So I don't want this angle, I want this one. And to get it, that's going to be, well, let's see, I know the opposite side and the adjacent. I'm not going to use this because what if I made a mistake calculating it, but I know these two, these were given. So opposite and adjacent is tangent. So the tangent of this angle, called the reference angle, by the way, but you don't need to worry about what it's called, is going to be the opposite, which is 80, over the adjacent, which is 200. And that means the reference angle is going to be the inverse tangent of whatever 80 over 200 is. So I'll go 80. And do it over here. So I'll do 80. Divided by 200, get an answer, and do second tangent. 21.8 degrees. So what I have is my final answer. I would have a net force of 215.4 newtons at a reference angle of 21.8 degrees. We're good. That's all you need to give. You don't need to give it an angle because someone that knows what the reference angle means, they know what you mean there. All right. So let's try this one. So I'm going to go over 10 and then down 18. And this is what I want. So, over 10, down 18. Um, yeah, actually, this one, if you wanted, you could give a reference angle to it, and you could give, how do we put this? All right, how about this? You guys probably know this extension lesson, right? You're aware that this coordinate system has quadrants, and this is the first quadrant, and this is the second, and down here is the third. And this is the fourth. So what I would really, I think you should write, is 21.8, and it's going up and to the right. That's in here. That's going to be your first quadrant. So do that. So what about this one? It's going down and to the left. So that means this one's going to end up being in the third quadrant. But let's find its magnitude first. That's going to be the square root of 18 squared plus 10 squared. So 18 squared plus 10 squared Oops. all right and take the square root and that's 20.6 so i have a magnitude of the net force of 20.6 now i need this angle not this one i want the one to the horizontal so opposite is 18, adjacent is 10. So it's going to be the inverse, that, the reference angle is going to be the inverse tangent of the opposite, which is 18, over the adjacent, which is 10. So I do 18 divided by 10. And then I do second tangent. That's 60.9 degrees. 
So the reference angle is 60.9 degrees, and it's in the third quadrant because it's going down and to the left. You can write Q there, third quadrant. Most people know what you're talking about. All right. So this one we might need to go to another piece of paper for, right? Because, or we might need to be a little quick. We can probably be a little quick here. So we look at this. We did this earlier. Normally I wouldn't do, let you do this, but let's just eyeball this. 500 to the right, 300 to the left. Okay, so we know that we've got 200 to the right. So I got 200 right. I'm going to have to draw that smaller. So I got 200 right and 800 up. So 800 up, 200 right, and this is what I'm looking for. Its magnitude is going to be, so let's write that out. I'm just being all sloppy because I'm almost done. No, 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 no. So, the net force's magnitude is going to be the square root of 800 squared plus 200 squared. Eight hundred squared plus two hundred squared. So you can square root that answer. Eight twenty four point six. Now we need the um, angle. So that angle, which is this one, right, is going to be the opposite. Eight hundred over two hundred. So it's going to be the reference angle is going to be the inverse tangent of 800 over 200. I can do that. That's just going to be 4, right? So the inverse tangent of 4. 75.96. I will call it 76 degrees. So the reference angle is 76 degrees. In which quadrant? Well, let's see. We were right and up. So that's first quadrant. So we would write, as our final answer, net force equals 824.6 and a reference angle of 76 degrees first quadrant. All right, example four. We're going to write that on its own piece of paper. So example four starts off with an upward force, force 1 of 70 newtons, a down force of 128, called force 2, a rightward force of 110, F3 they call that, and an 80 newton force going this way. That's F4. Now, like the last problem, uh, we can, we can, this is relatively simple. We can hedge our bets a little bit here. We can say, pretty much, I'm betting that if you've made it to the extension level, that you're looking at this and you're saying, all right, well, 110 and 80, that means 110 wins by 30. So there's a 30 newton this way. And 70 from 128, 128 minus 70, and there's going to be a downward of 58. So it would be negative 58 if we want to do it that way. One, two, three, four, one. All right. But it would definitely be downward, 58. So, but instead of drawing it like this, I recommend that you do, say, 30 over. So this is my starting point. I'll go 30 over, and then from there, go the 58 down. 30, 40, 58 to here. And that your net force is that. So we have this is 30. This is 58. So let's find the net force. Magnitude, the size of it, is going to be the square root. 58 squared 
plus 30 squared. And then take the square root. So we're going to go 58 squared plus 30 squared. Square root of that. 52, uh, 65.3. So the net force has a magnitude of 65.3. And now we need this angle. So that's the opposite is 58, and the adjacent is 30. So we want the reference angle is going to be the inverse tangent of the 58 over the 30. And that's going to be, let's see, down and to the right. So if you consider your quadrants, that's going to be down here. So that's not the first quadrant, not the second, not the third. It's the fourth quadrant. Well, let's get the angle first, I guess. So 58 divided by 30. And we want the second tangent of that number. And that angle is 62.7. And that is in the fourth quadrant. So our total answer, if you want to write it all out, would be Net force is 65.3 newtons at 62.7 degrees in the fourth quadrant. There you go. That would be your official correct answer.